Former Interior Secretary Rafael Alunan talks to CNN Philippines. He's among those who signed the deal between then President Fidel Ramos and the Marcos family. The Memorandum of Understanding, signed in 1992, allows the return of late President Ferdinand Marcos's remains to the Philippines. Among other conditions, it allows the burial of Marcos's remains but only in Ilocos Norte. That's why media reports quoted him, saying the deal could prevent Marcos's burial at the Libingan ng mga bayani. Alunan clarifies he was misquoted. He says the memorandum is no longer binding as soon as Ramos stepped down from his post. It's not like an agreement that binds the government of the Philippines. Our understanding ended when we left government. But why was the late strongman never buried in Batak, Ilocos Norte? Alunan says the MOU also allowed Marcos's burial in another place sometime in the future, although not necessarily at the Libingan. This could be the reason why Marcos's remains are still on display at a mausoleum, still awaiting burial. Because it said there uh, that at some point in the future, if conditions change, uh, there could be a change in the burial venue, but there was no mention of living on mga bayani. Even if former First Lady Imelda Marcos signed the MOU, Alunan says she really wanted her husband's body to only stay in Batak temporarily. She indicated in her handwriting after I had signed it, temporarily interred. And I said, no, that is not correct because we already signed. Alunan explains President Duterte has the prerogative to have Marcos's remains buried at the Heroes Cemetery. Alunan is just hoping the president would consult Congress and let them vote on a resolution on the burial. Alunan says the public, through their elected representatives, should decide on the controversial matter. Rex Remitio, CNN, Philippines.